When it comes to giving your kids much needed time outside, getting them to participate can be a real challenge. Nature themed invitations are a great way to coax them out the door, whether they are just come home from school or if they've been staring at a screen for far too long. These invitations are super effective. Hi, I'm Penny Whitehouse and I help parents use nature play to create a happier, healthier childhood for their kids. If you're looking for simple tips and tricks to get your kids outside, keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll know when I've got more tips to share. You might be wondering what exactly is an invitation to play? It's a term used frequently by early childhood educators. I remember coming across the term when I was studying and learning about Reggio philosophy, which encourages parents to allow their children to direct their own play and providing meaningful resources to aid their exploration. Put simply, it describes a small setup of play materials which a child can engage with in any way they choose without guidelines or instructions. You might set out your child's favorite tea set on the grass under a shady tree, for example, or you may put a box of loose natural materials together and leave it in their regular play space. These are all invitations to play. By presenting toys or materials this way, it can allow your child to engage with fresh eyes and a fresh perspective, which is sure to inspire new and nature-filled play ideas. I don't provide play opportunities for my kids consistently 24 seven. In fact, I rarely do it at all because a child's ability to entertain themselves is incredibly important. With invitations to play, your child still develops this ability to keep themselves occupied. You're just simply promoting play in different ways. Plus, your kids will get lots of enjoyment out of the invitations. They can be super fun. Why the emphasis on nature themed invitations though? Well, it's tactile, so kids are using their hands to manipulate different types of materials. And with nature, there's lots of different textures. It's sensory, as with other invitations to play, when kids are using plastic toys and craft items, there's less sensory stimulation. But with nature, you have all those incredible smells that adds an extra layer. It's also open-ended, so children generally have a little bit more of an opportunity to manipulate where the play goes. The child is completely in charge of what they create and how they create it. And it's mostly free. Nature is right outside, so it's pretty easy and cheap to set up. There are benefits for you too. Invitations to play give you time to have a cuppa when you're having a bad day. And sometimes even a small break is just what you need to feel better. I've put more information on each setup in the description below. So head there to learn more about the invitations to play. And if you're looking forward to seeing them, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps spread the word and encourages parents to get their kids outside more often. As always, I've saved the best to last. Number five is my kids' favorite invitation to play setup. Number one invitation to play is nature potions. Your kids will just love mixing food coloring and adding nature. It is a simple setup that takes minutes, but lets them explore colors and nature together. They can collect a heap of nature to add to their colorful potions, and they could even add weird and wonderful scents by crushing up their nature in a mortar and pestle before they mix it in. It's going to get messy, so old clothes are a must but I would highly recommend adding for pets to this invitation to play too. The kids love it and it does control some of those spills. Number two is a stick maze. I've mentioned this in a video all about my family's top backyard projects, but I had to mention it here as well because most people see invitations to play as activities that are related to crafts or smaller materials that can be manipulated. Invitations can encourage construction too though, and this maze setup was just that. It was essentially a challenge to build a maze with sticks. It will definitely test them and it also gets them thinking and problem solving. And if there's more than one child, they'll be building communication skills too. You might even see a leader emerge. Number three is nature arts and crafts. There's certainly nothing wrong with using lots of little natural materials in your nature play setups. And crafts are one of my favorite. I just love how much you can make with nature. Set up this leaf shape invitation to play or even add this picture of a robot to the mix to help get their creative juices flowing. Of course, I've mentioned one of my most popular free printables here too, because this nature head has been a hit with kids all over the world. I'll link to it below. Number four is weaving frames. This invitation to play is a little less open-ended, but your kids are still able to pick and choose the materials they use. It is simply a nature weaving frame made using a recycled photo frame. Most of us have one or two lying around, so create your own and set it up in a space that allows your child to enjoy weaving natural objects 
through it. Number five, and my kid's favorite, is Play-Doh and Nature. When you've made Play-Doh and it's on its last legs, consider setting up an invitation to play with natural materials. Your kids will love to experiment with the Play-Doh and the Nature together. This activity is bound to keep your kids occupied for quite a while and you'll probably be very impressed with some of their creations. Don't forget to add some herbs or flowers that will take this sensory play idea to the next level. Try lavender, mint, basil, and even put rose petals in them. What invitations to play have been a hit for your kids? Mention them in the comments below. If you're excited about these invitations to play and you want to know how you can incorporate more outdoor play into your child's daily routine, be sure to sign up to the waitlist for the Nature Play Club. Not only will it help you implement a heap of strategies to get your kids outside more often, you'll also get to plan your backyard nature play space with me. You can sign up in the description below and I'd love to have you. It's time to add a pinch of adventure, a sprinkle of sunshine and a big handful of outdoor play.